Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be making a um, tutorial video on how you could use um, the Amiga emulator on RetroArch. So the first thing you'll need would be the Kickstart ROMs. I have mine here. So I'm just going to copy everything that I have here and just put it all into the systems folder in the retro arc folder for me it's here and just systems folder and you just send all the files there i already put them in there so that's what it says so i just put them all in there and um the emulators that i found that work are the amiga 500 which is A500, Amiga 600, and Amiga 1200. So I'll be using the Amiga 1200 in this video. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to games, and you may want to create something called a .m3u file if, if uh, the game has multiple disks on it like which I did here with this so show you how to do that just delete that I'll just create a new one just open just open up a notepad just like that and press F2 here control C control V do the same for each one just put them all in there that's it like so and save as I'm gonna highlight that and copy that directory control V right there I'm gonna call it desert save whoops I made a mistake okay I need to save as all dot m 3u just like that exit so this is the one I don't want and I'll be creating a dot m3u for another game as well creating it for operation wolf as well so control C F2 control C control V Save. I'm going to go to that directory. Control C, Control V. I'm going to call that wolf.m3u. Okay. Get started. So, creating m3u files is for um, games that use multi disks and basically if you want to go edit the m3u file you can just simply do that by going here opening up a notepad press control c to copy that open control c select all open and I can open that again and as you can see the first disk second disk third disk so it's gonna say one index one two three so one is this one index two is this two and this three is this three and that's basically it for that okay so now I'm gonna start the retro arc emulator you could um, put this on the desktop so you can make your life easier. Just like that. And just run it from your desktop. Okay, now Retro Arc has started. So, um, the first thing you got to do is you got to go to main, 
got to go to load core you have to download and install the Commodore Amiga core which is right here and you should load the core which is here and configure it start the core press F1 go to options this is the one that I selected the Amiga 1200 V3.1 so you could so, uh, select whatever you want for me I selected this pretty much I left everything at default I didn't really change anything you don't really have to and one thing you do have to know is the right control key on your keyboard enables you to change from mouse to keyboard right here hotkey switch joystick mouse so it's going to be set at mouse by default but you could change it to joystick as well but that's about it the next thing you want to do is you want to go to import manual scan content directory you want to go to your amiga folder where you have all your amiga games scan this and select commodore amiga and start scan like that and that's it so if you want to run games from here you can like uh, i'm gonna run commando So it's, it's telling me to press my left mouse button to continue. Another another thing I didn't I forgot to show you was this, which I changed here, is the floppy disk speed. You could change it from default to turbo. Turbo is the fastest, so that's what I chose. So if you want to go back, press the F1 key again. Okay, let me go back. Okay, so I'm starting the ROM. So for the Commodore Amiga joystick, didn't have two buttons. So the way you use the second button, kind of like saying, is by keeping the button pressed for a second. So I, that's how I launch grenades here. So that's it. So let me get out of here. So enough of that. This time I want to run an M.3 M3U file basically. So load content D go to my Amiga folder. Go to games. Gonna run desert.
As for changing disk, you just press F1, go to the main folder, main menu, go to uh, options. No, I'm sorry, it's disk control. And you could eject the disk and instead of going through the entire file system to locate the disks, it's on that M dot m3u list so this is disk one this is disk two this is disk three you can select it and you can insert the disk press f1 you could eject the disk and you could load the disk again and that's how you basically do it. It's, it's, it's simple as that. I'm going to close that. That's it. If you have any questions, you could leave in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.